that a slave woman will give birth to her mistress. For this, we have to go again to the hadith in which Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam prophesied about akhiru zaman that women would dress like men would we ever live to see a woman in a jacket? would we ever live to see a woman in blue jeans? would we ever live to see a woman with a tie? Huh? Wake up. <laughs> it's already here. It's already here. Women are already dressing like men and when they do dress like men, either they don't know of what the Prophet said or they don't care. They don't care. No. Why? Because they're brainwashed. <laughs> they're following the Jal. And the only way you can stop them from following the child is getting a piece of rope and tying them up. Why would the Jal take women and get them to dress like men? Why? The answer is that the Jal wants to challenge what religion and society has constantly proclaimed for thousands of years that men and women are functionally different the Jal wants to say that all the prophets of Allah were wrong and all the religions were wrong and men those brutes were wrong and we, modern Western civilization, have come to liberate women by saying to them, there is no functional difference between men and women. And so anything that a man does, a woman must have the freedom to do it. It sounds real nice when you are brainwashed. And so now, she puts on the working woman's clothes. And she goes to work and faces the morning traffic like everybody else. Don't be angry with me. Don't be angry with me. I have a job to do. And she works all day like men do. And she comes home in the evening with her briefcase like men do and she has now assumed the functional role of men in society so she's lost her femininity but that's not all she's also losing her fertility she can't have babies when you're trying to play being a man something happens to your body Allah wants that the woman should have her babies when she is young when the body is young and the body is youngest of all and best equipped of all to make babies after she has reached the age of puberty that is the best time you got to have peanuts in your head to tell me that a woman is better equipped to have a baby at 25 than at 15. I don't have peanuts in my head, excuse me. And all through history, women had their babies when they were 14 and 15 and 16 until Dajjal took over. And now they're having their babies at 25 and 26 and 27. But then some of them can't have babies because the womb refuses to deliver a baby and this is a problem because if I don't have a baby for him he will take another woman what to do? so you go to a place called a clinic fertility clinic and they're very expensive 
we are talking about a slave woman giving birth to her mistress. Eh? And you pay a large sum of money to become pregnant. And all that you try but nothing works. Nothing works. But remember you earning a big income, you got a career, you got a BMW in the yard there. You're a modern woman, but you can't have a baby. I feel sorry for you sister, I'm not laughing at you. So now guess what you do? You go to Indonesia, knock, 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 are you there? So the slave woman comes out. <laughs> and you make a contract with her. If you do it in New York with an American woman, then you take her to the clinic and your husband's sperm is injected into her egg. Hmm? So she can become pregnant with your husband's baby. It gonna cost you 70,000 US. You don't have that kind of money. So you travel to Jakarta or to Bangladesh huh? and you get the slave woman, knock, knock, knock and you make a contract with her and you only pay 7,000. Mm -hmm. So she goes to the clinic and the sperm is injected into the egg and she becomes pregnant. Allah, She got a first class baby there inside of her. She's a slave woman, but for nine months she got to drink mineral water. That baby should not get this polluted water. Eh? And for nine months, no GM food, eh? only the food that's served in five star restaurants. Got first class baby there. And then the baby is born, <laughs> and the mother is paid. And the baby goes first class, while the mother remains a slave. But this does not explain all of it. It is only when a baby girl is born, that the baby girl will rule over the mother. If a baby boy is born, the baby boy will not rule over the mother. So this explanation is not adequate. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, one more hadith, and again connected with Dajjal. He said, the time will come when one man would have to maintain how many women? How many? How many? Fifty, five, zero. What is fifty in Bahasa? Nimbu. Nimru. Lima Biro. <laughs> one man would have to maintain 50 women. Now listen, no go back home and misquote this hadith to your wife. Eh? <laughs> he didn't say one man would have to marry 50 women. So when you go back home and report this hadith to your wife, make sure you report it properly. One man would have to maintain 50 women. What this hadith indicates is that there is going to be a calamitous decline in the birth of baby boys. So great will be the decline that hardly any baby boys are going to be born tomorrow. Why? We held an international Islamic retreat in Trinidad a year and a half ago. And then we held a second one in Cape Town in March. And now we're holding the third one here in Malaysia, inshallah, next year. And the retreat was meant to teach the reality of the world today using the Quran and Hadith. And in that hadith, in that retreat, a medical doctor stood up and explained to us. He said that the, the sperm of the male has male chromosomes 
and female chromosomes. And when the male chromosome fertilizes the egg, then a baby boy is born. But if a male chromosome fails to fertilize the egg, then the default would be a baby girl. Aristotle said the same thing 4,000 years ago, but he said it in a clumsy way. He said in his Nicomachean Ethics that when nature fails to produce a boy, a girl is born. <laughs> The doctor explained that the radiation that comes from cellular phones and from laptop computers, and notice where the laptop computer is placed, hmm? that this radiation damages sperm production, making the chromosome weaker and weaker until eventually the male chromosome will be too weak to fertilize the egg. Hmm? Ten years ago when I came to KL nobody had a cell phone. Nobody. And now every Indonesian male has a cell phone. Huh? It is proliferating. Maybe that the genetically modified food also has a role to play. Maybe that the pollution of the environment, the atmosphere has a role to play. But the fact is that there is a tomorrow which is coming when very few baby boys are going to be born. If you have a political system in which one man and one woman has one vote then the majority will rule Allah did not create women to rule no he did not but Dajjal says I'm going to make them rule so Dajjal has given you the cellular phone it's very handy oh yes but this is the price you pay and tomorrow when there are very few men and large numbers of women guess who is going to be your prime minister and all the ministers in your government this is not to say that women do not have the intellectual acumen to be scholars and to be administrators this is not to be in any way insulting or demeaning women no, your mother was a woman and your mother was the best teacher you ever had in your life. How can you speak of women as being inferior to men intellectually? Are you crazy? No. How can you speak of women being morally and spiritually inferior to men? Are you mad? Did the Messenger of Allah not say that all of mankind will stand before Allah on judgment day, men as well as women, as equal in his sight as are the teeth of a coal? Did he not say that? But Allah did not create women to rule. No. Allah gave them complementary roles. The night has to do the work of the night and the day has to do the work of the day and so they complement each other they're like two halves that come together to make a whole but Dajjal says no Dajjal says I'm going to put an equal sign between the male and the female and he did it and they swallowed it the brainwashed followers of Dajjal and so now it is only when a baby girl is born that she rules. And if a baby boy is born, 
he does not rule.